It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Auntie 755 is The wait is over. Let's go. Just kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready. The just kidding kids are the best kids, baby. Yes, they are. Just kidding. Come on, y'all. This is what we do over here. Come on. Get them kids together, adults. This dedicated to all the students in the entire galaxy. Okay? All the students, no matter what you're studying. You know, I appreciate y'all. Keep learning. Don't stop. Um, Parents, the show is for you. This show is for you. Um, bring awareness to kids' art. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. I need y'all to do me a favor as you come in. I don't care if you hit the thumbs up on 755. It don't matter to me. That don't matter to me. I promise y'all it don't. What I want you to do is hit that link that I got pinned to the top. I'm going on over there to the Just Kidding channel. Because, sissy, I think we had 230 subscribers over there. Okay. Party time, y'all. Let's go. Woohoo! Yes, yes. It's all because of y'all. Your parents. I love it. Go ahead and share me out. You know, share me out. If you're on your phone, share me out. Put me in a text message to you like your cousins. You know what I mean? Come on now. Huh? It ain't about me. It's for the kids. I'm telling y'all. Look, these kids need this art, okay? And, and so there's a lot of art shows, plenty of them. Plenty of them, especially on YouTube. That you can go to, paint this, paint that. But there ain't none of them represented by the Lit Lit family, Auntie 755, and Auntie Cuddles, okay? We the best art show in the planet. Okay, so get your kids involved. Get them in there today. Now today, I'm going to tell y'all. Put this over here, out the way. I'm going to be working with all kind of colors. I'm talking about every color. That I think is bright, cute, vibrant, pretty, um, just all the colors, all the things, all the things. Oh, sissy told me to say that in the morning. All the things. All right? Purples, all the things. 
And I want you to pull them all out. Pull them all out, y'all. We're going to work at all the colors, okay? Love all the colors. Look at the, look up here at the, over there. Like right that. See all the colors? Get all them colors out. And some. Get you some white out, too. Patty, what's going on? Patty's kitchen, gardening, more, baby. Her grandson, Jeremiah, is probably over painting with us this afternoon. I appreciate you. Late night crafting with Stacy. I know Twinkles probably got her pens out, her, her, her pencils out, charcoals or something. She's doing some work. I know, y'all. Come on, family. Come on. Let's get these kids in here. What Blue Lotus says, she up in here yet? I know she'll be in here. Shell, make her in the house. Shell. She's an artist. She does art. I love it. Thank you so much for coming in. Monica Lee, she's here. She does art. She's on point. Let's go. Let's go, family. Yeah, please do that, sissy. Yeah, it's Super Saturday, y'all. Let's go. All right, so we're going to do a book. Now, there's no reference photo for this. No, no, no. Not this week. The reason is I'm going to show you how to draw a quick and easy book. It's going to be so quick and easy. You don't need, no, you don't need a reference photo. It's there, there's none for you. There's none for you. Okay? But any of the other ones that we've done, if you want a reference photo, all you got to do is ask. I got you. Okay? Hit me up at 755 media at gmail.com. I just 755. going to take good care of you. Yeah. Let's go. Get yourself a ruler. Pencil. Eraser. And the brushes we'll be working with today, you'll need a big brush, okay? Let me get that stringy hair out the top of it. Brush sheds. Brushes sheds like pets. So you got to treat them like a pet and groom them. There you go. All right, so we got the big brush. I got an angle brush, but you can use a flat brush or any brush of a medium size, okay? Medium size. And you're going to need a detailed brush, tiniest, teeniest brush in your arsenal. Pull it on out. So we're going to need all of this stuff. And we're going to paint a colorful, colorful book. And this is going to be so pretty. I've seen this done by another artist called the Art Sherper. Some of y'all might be familiar with her. I don't know. However, she did this uh, a long time ago, years ago. And I loved it so much. And I never wanted to do it because I wanted to... Um, Okay, I get the question. I'll feel that question in one second. I never wanted to do something another artist do. I try to do something original, but this is so cute, y'all. And we're going we're gonna to do our own thing. We're going to do it just like her. I don't even remember what hers look like. I just know she did it. Okay, so we're going to go and check her out. I mean, we're going to go check out the field quest, field this question. What is going on here, sissy? What is question at? Uh, lady, I cracked it with... For a canvas, it, it is wise that you do use a, acrylic paint for a canvas because, um, uh, hey, and by the way, hey, Sleazy, thank you for being a great supporter to this channel. I appreciate you. Uh, you guys go over and check out Sleazy, okay? And she's a great supporter. Listen, um, yeah, acrylic paint of any sort is good for the canvas. Uh, when you use like a watercolor, the canvas soaks that water right up and your paint is spread all over. Like if you're trying to concentrate it into a certain spot. Now, I'm not a watercolor artist, but I have used them and I've had fun. But most of the time I use them on paper. You could blot it out. But on canvas, the material will soak up those kind of paints. So I'll go ahead and grab you some acrylic paints, okay? You can, if you're not, if you're not going to do it for the long haul, like you're not going to say, hey, this is something I'll be doing for a while. I want to sell this art, okay? So I use Liquitex heavy body paint. See, it says heavy body right there. Y'all see it? But if you are just wanting to just fool around and get to know some paint and just have some fun and economically have fun, grab yourself some Liquitex. And I'm not sponsored, y'all. I just ought to be, but I'm not. But grab yourself some Liquitex student body paint. This is not heavy body. See the difference in the tubes, okay? You're not going to see it. It's not going to say heavy body on here, okay? It might say soft body, or it may say, you know, I'm trying to find what it would say. But it's a student-based paint. And, it, and, and, and you may have to put up a, a few extra layers just to, so you won't see through it. But that's okay. You, you know, you're exploring and you're learning, and that's a great paint to learn. And plus, it's economical. Like that big tool, let me put it out again. This big old tube right here, 
I think this tube was like five dollars. Okay, and then you got to go with this tube, which there's no price on this one, eighteen dollars. So it's a difference. See, it's a different size, and this is a big one. I usually get these. These is like ten dollars. Okay, and see how much smaller they are in comparison. That's because of the pigment in the paint and the quality of the paint. But you know, um. If you're going to be in it for the long haul, I'm going to grab you some heavy body paint. And then you know, you ain't got to keep putting paint on top of paint on top of paint. But if you don't mind that, student body is the way to go. It's economical. Especially if you got a young one. Okay? Uh, some people use crab paint. Crab paint is the same. It's like a student paint. Actually, it's less than a student paint. It's got more water content to it. Okay? All right. So, listen. Y'all, Blue Lotus is here. Hey. Yeah, we got a quorum now. Let's go. Yeah. You was in Staples and they have paint brushes on clearance. Come on now. Parents. Shell Maker just gave me, she dropping a jewel on y'all. She said she was in Staples. They got paint brushes on clearance. Let's all run over there and see what they got, okay? I love, I love a good clearance sale. Oh, what well, we'll put it back on Sissy. Sissy put up a message on the screen. I didn't see it. I apologize, Sissy. Oh, uh, she said, okay, find some acrylic paint and blank canvas at Ross. Let's go. Go on and grab it up. Sleazy, come on now. And um, so, the, you know, even if you don't have children around to get them for, we always have adult paint nights on my other channel, okay? Uh, so you can always come and paint with me. Yeah. Blue Velda said, I'm looking cute to that girl. We'll talk about it. <laughs> okay. Let's get back at the hiccups. So make sure you got a ruler. Get yourself a pencil. I got to stop hiccuping. All right, so what we're going to do is, look, it's, it's a few different kind of rulers to have. One is a T where it will have, like, see this part right here? It'll have another, and it'll be shaped like a T. Those are cool. Twinkle said, hi, Auntie, but she in school today. She's doing an American Sign Language class. Let's get it. Tell her, tell her, um... Um, that we want to learn how to say, I do. we want to learn how to say, um, kids deserve art in sign language and let us know, let us know what to do. And this ruler is an L ruler, of course. Come on now. I mean, come on now. All right. And then you have a regular straight ruler with none of this on there, but this is going to work for us today. This is what we want. Just gifted in the building. How you doing, honey pie? All right, so look, this one I'm gonna turn y'all a little bit. I'm trying to get y'all angle today, so y'all, because a lot of times I paint and y'all see my hand, you don't see what I'm doing with the brush, so I'm gonna kind of go to a different angle for y'all today. I'm growing, <laughs> I'm growing. All right, so I got my ruler and I line my edge up right here with the side of my canvas. You see it, and I put it down there, and it's even, and you make you a straight line. Now go a little low today. Don't go high. Go low. All right? Make yourself a line. Now, this line is 10 inches. I want my line to be 10 inches. Make your line 10 inches, too. Any extra, just erase off the side. Okay? And we're going to go 10-inch line. All right? In the center of a 10-inch line, and how you find your center, you divide your inches by 2. This is anything. We've got 10 inches. We're going to divide it by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So what that means, we go to our 5 mark on our ruler. Start at the edge of your line now. Don't go at the edge of the canvas like we did before. Right at the edge. And you find your 5, okay? And make sure you get your... Boom, boom, boom. And you find your 5 mark. Wait a minute. I, I think I did mine like this before. Uh, I'm tripping. There we go. So this is my halfway mark, my five, right? So I made a little mark right there. Boom. Now, when you get to the little mark right there in the middle, I'm going to take your ruler and go straight up. Not, not too far. Not too far. Let's go up about, let's go up about five and a half inches, okay? Let's, let's try that out. Five and a half inches. We're going to make us have a, a big book. All right, we'll make a big book. All right, so now for the sides, don't go straight up and down. No, 
give it a little flare. Go tip your ruler in just a little bit. This will be straight. I'm going to tip my ruler in just a little bit. And then I'm going to make my line. Trying to make it even with that. Same thing over here. Let's go. Let's go, family. We're making a book. Alrighty. Now I got two lines on the side. And then kind of going in. Let's I'm going to show you dead on so you can see. Like that. See? All right. All right, so we got this going. Um, really, you know, I'm gonna change my mind about that. I'm gonna change my mind about this this whole side thing. Okay, let's bring our let's not make it so tall. Let's not make it so tall. because we're gonna leave room for our paints at the top. We're gonna make it very colorful. You can always make different decisions in your art. You don't have to, you know, you can make changes. So I'm going to bring my line in tighter because I made it shorter. So let's make this shorter. Okay, can you see it? All right. And now let's do it again. And now I'm going to make my line a little bit more inward, okay? A little bit more inward, like that. Yeah, like that. That's better. All right, so I was making it too big. All right, so now that we got that going, now you want to draw a line from here to here and to here. Now, well, you know, this is what this is what I want you to do. Pages of a book. If you have an open book, this is the center of the page, right? Your page is going to come up like this and go out sort of, kind of like that, like this. Sort of kind of like that. Now attach those lines. Any extra at the top, just go ahead and erase it. All right? Like that. Now, when it comes down here, we have to make a bind. Am I on the screen, sissy? Yeah, I'm on here. Okay. There, I'll pull y'all closer. Anti-social in the building. Come on now, family. Let's go. All right. So, um, so anyway, you you this is the back, the page of the books. You gotta make a curve. Just start in your center, curve it up, and bring it down, and connect it to the corner of your book, just like that, okay? And do the same over there. And they don't have to be equal. You can make them equal. But if you're flipping a book, you're never always going to be equal. Page is going to be lower in the beginning if, you, if you're just starting a book, or if you're ending the book, the page is going to, you know what I mean, right? No, so for down here, this is the binder of the book, so I want you to make a, a half a circle or you just like that just make that okay so make that half a circle or you right there at the bottom y'all see what i'm saying right there it's easy peasy you could do it all right just go ahead and make that book that now you can make it all kind of ways but we're gonna do a circle okay now in this circle uh and then i want you to make a top part of the circle to close it off just fit it in there Anything in the middle, erase it. So you make it more like an oval shape right there, okay? All right, so now, boom. Now, these pages, let's just say our book is thick, right? So we're going to start our book about right here. And you're going to curve this up just like you did that. Curve it up. Bring it down. And then stop. Now I want you to take it and connect it like that at an angle. See? Curve it. Bring it down. Stop. And then diagonally come over to the corner. Y'all see what I just did right there? Y'all see what I did right there? Okay. So now, now we got pages. So, so now we're going to put pages in by taking our, our, you don't have to use your ruler. You can use your hand. Go straight down and connect it to where you stop that. Remember I said stop. That's the that's your stopping point right there. This is my stopping point right here. So now I'm going to grab this side. And I'm going to use about even. About even. Okay. And bring it down. And if it ain't even, it's going to be all right because we're going to paint it. So don't worry about that. All right. So now I'm thinking we're starting to get a book here. What y'all think? All right, I think so. All right. So now. This right here at the bottom, we're going to make this thick when we use our paint. So this is our cover to our book. 
The cover to your book usually comes out farther than the book itself. So you make another line underneath that line and make another line on the outside of this. This is going to represent the cover of our book. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Drag it down, right? Same way, just like that. All right? Come on here under this binder circle we made and draw that all the way across, just like that. All right? You can connect it at the top. Boom. Our book is made. I'm ready to paint. I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm ready to paint. Let's get out some black, y'all. Because this black is what I'm going to do my background. Now, you can use any color that you want for your background. It's completely up to you. I'm going to choose to use black because the black is going to make my colors pop. And that's the purpose of this exercise is to pop these colors, okay? Come on, y'all. Happy Saturday, family. Let's get us some black out. I use about the size of the thumbnail right there, okay? So let's get this black out. Um, my paint, my canvas was, I've uh, already taken my spray bottle and sprayed it, so it sound like this. Yeah, get that drum sound, right? Go ahead and paint your canvas, family. Let's go. Start on up here. Make sure you get the edges. You always got to get your edges, okay? Your sides, baby. You always got to do it. Just go ahead and put it on there. Now, don't be like, I ain't painting, because you're going to be all day. I don't got time for that. You ain't either. Let's go. Put some paint on that canvas and spread it out. Side to side. Just go on and whisk it over there. Whisk it. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Just go on and put it on over there. Just make sure it's even, y'all. That's all. And you can come back and put another coat on after this one dry. If that's what you choose to do. You know what I mean? So just go ahead and put it on there. And go on all the way down to your book, honey. Because this is what we're going to do. This is what we own today. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I just don't want just straight black. I think I want mine to be like a, I had this thing like, uh, I have a thing about me where I like skies. I like, um. I just said that to you this morning. What? The sky is just always so mesmerizing. This guy is mesmerizing. You went for a nice little ride this morning, sis. You got to see the sky early morning. Yeah, before it got all polluted with chemtrails. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm sorry. The crop duster was out. The crop duster was out. Oh, no. I'm going to go and get, I want to get some purple and put it here. Yeah, that's what I want. I want some purple in here. And I'm also going to put me some blue in there, too. Where's my blue? Hello, blue. Where are you? Blue, come on. Let's go. Let's be friends. All right, so we got some blue up here. We got some purple up here, and I'm just going to do my sky. Maybe I'm going to make some stars and stuff, too. Yeah, I'm just doing what I want. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it. All right, so let's go with blue next. So I'm going to come back up here over my black, you guys. And you can wipe your brush out if you got too much black in there. I do, but I'm not going to wipe my brush out. I'm just going to go ahead and put some blue up here. Yeah, and grab some of this purple, too. I'm going to put that up there. I just want to. Y'all can't see it. Oh, no. You can't. Okay, then. I fixed that. Get some white. Mm. Get some white. Put it up there. Yeah. There we go. Got some white up there. Guess what? Let's go. Grab a little bit of white on that brush. Just turn it like that. Look, 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 look. Now, come back up here. Nah. Put it up there. Yeah, y'all see that blue? Y'all see that blue and purple? Nah, no, don't you? Don't y'all see it? No? Want to see some more? Put some more white up there. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Yeah, you can just do it. You can do what you want to do. You can do what you want to do. I'm going to keep coming. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going on down low with it. Yeah, got some purple over here. I see it. I can see all this purple. Yeah, we're doing it over here. I'm going to get my size real good. Now, when I get right here down to my book, y'all know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my brush, and I'm going to stand it up, and I'm going to go all the way around. But for right now, I just want to make my little smoky sky like. Okay? Put it around here. I want to make it like a mystical. I'm going to stand my brush up. Stand it up like this. Not like this. Stand it straight up to your uh, art and drag it down. And it's going to be easy because it's lines. It's not a lot of curves to it. So go ahead and fill it in. Come on this side. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to get my size while I'm at it. 
because that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to drag this thing all the way down. My book on the side, fill it in. And then now I'm going to stand it up and I'm going to go around this. And if I get a little bit wonky with it, it's okay. You know what I mean? It's all right. Take it all the way around. Like so. Man, I love this. I love this. All right. And so now, um, my breast is getting a little too big to get in that little crease. You know what I mean? So that means I have to what? Decrease my breast size because it ain't, I don't want to get it all, you know, messed up in there. I mean, I could just take my time and take the very tip and go in there like I just did. Okay, it's okay. But usually if you can't get in the space, a tiny space, decrease your breast size and go down, okay? All right, so now I got this whole thing going on. I'm thinking like, now that I came down here, I'm like, dang, but I can't, don't want the book to be floating in the air. I can lay it on the table or something, right? And so let me make sure I got all my sides done. Yeah, I was missing a little part over here. Yeah, but I got it now. Thanks for reminding me, you guys. All right, so we got this little thing going just like that. I'm done with this brush. I'm just to sit it in my water. I might come back to it later if I want a second coat. So never rinse it out. Plus, it's going to pollute your water, make your water all dark. So just wait. Just drop it in the water so it don't dry out. And then once you ain't whisking it around, your water will stay clean. Right? Just leave it in there. Don't worry about all the extra smixler. Let me get something like a, a towel, like a tabletop situation. Um, I know a lot of friends have wooden tables, so let's get some brown. Okay? Let me put some brown up here, like so. Now, all the while, we're waiting on this to dry. Okay? So, we're waiting on that to dry. Let's get us a table together. All right? Let's go to that other brush I was telling you about, the medium-sized brush, the angle brush, right? Going to get it. And, oh, this is this hard. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this angle brush, and I'm going to go back and forth with it. It's just a table, you guys. It's nothing much. I'm just making a like a countertop of some sort, right? So it's no big deal. I'm just going to drag it all around. So it's going to be really looking like my book is propped up. You know, probably sitting on top of something like, you know, the reader or a little, you know, I don't know, whatever. I don't know what to call it, so I'm just not going to keep trying to figure it out. All right, so just go ahead and travel down the uh, edge of your book. Go ahead and travel on down the edge. Don't forget to dip down for that little binder part. Okay, the binder, the binder, the spine of the book. All right, so all this trash and this paint, I wonder why. Anyway, we're going to get it out by just brushing it away. You guys, just brush it off. Uh, get my trusty 755 Media Just Kidding paint towel. I got this from Passionately and Tree Dark donated a bunch of these to the kids. So get this, and I'm going to go ahead and wipe my brush off. And come on down and... Oh, I hate this right now. I don't know what's going on with that paint. It's, it's not appealing at all. Very unattractive. All right, so now I'm going to get maybe some burnt umber to offset this lighter paint. Because I can't use that. Uh, all right, so we got a little bit of burnt umber in here. And I'm just going to make some little streaks on it. So make it look like it's a table or somewhat. And since I came down so far... He on the sides, it's not going to look so hot, but we're going to make it work, y'all. We're going to do what we're going to do what we got to do. All right, so we're just going to do what we got to do. Put this on there and make a table out of the situation, right? I'm going to come over here and make that a little darker. I'm trying to cover off this bark, dark spot. Because the table was like it lost, uh, a, a last-minute decision, you know what I'm saying? So we're just going to do it like that and streak it around a little bit. That way we can... See, uh, like maybe make some wood grain inside this table, right? Get out my paint. I'm about to have, I'm about to fight over here. This paint brush. I mean, this paint. All right, so we get that together, y'all. We run into problems like that. Y'all don't get all upset and storm out and knock down your easel and crying and whining and running around. No, that's not how paint slingers act, honey. 
we figure out things. We find a solution to problems over here. All right, so let's put that top back on our paints that we are using because we're not using them anymore. And you don't want it to dry out and end up with that, okay? A big clump of mess. All right, so now we got that down. So we got us a little table. We got us a little, um, you know, what have you there for. And now I want to... I want to paint this little circle. Now that, it's no light that's getting in there, so it tells me it should be dark. So I'm gonna get into my black, which I don't have much of, or maybe some of this purple, and because it's dark. All right, so I'm just gonna fill it in under here. I'm sorry, I wouldn't grab me a round brush. Grab me a round brush or whatever brush you feel comfortable with, and go on in there and make this little darkness on the circle. Now, my sister, I love her. I love her so much. She's so much fun. Love her. I love you too. She has a flaw. Mm -hmm. What? She likes green. <laughs> it's okay, sissy. It's okay. I'm going to get some green out, and I'm going to make a book this green because she likes green, and I want to make her happy. Maybe I'll give her this paint or something. You know what I mean? So I'm going to grab another brush. A different one. Let me find some cool. I got this one I've been using lately. It's pretty cool. I like it because the bristles is really soft. I like that. Okay, so put a little bit of green in here. Still what? I threw some paint somewhere. I don't know where is that. Uh, anyway, still waiting on this to dry up here, okay? So we're just going to put up a little bit of green like so. All right. And so the book cover that we made. Remember I said go out a little bit? I'm going to paint it green because of my sister. Yeah. Sissy, yes. do you know why two sisters would fight or argue rather? Because somebody ate the last Oreo? No, because they ain't on the same page. Okay. Boots. Yeah. So, if you and your sister's on the same page, like me and my sister is, I mean, you're going to have fun every Saturday, 12 hour noon. Yeah. Come on and get it. All right, so start on over here. Paint the edge of your book. Your edge of your book could be pink. It could be green, it could be purple, orange, whatever you want. Okay. This book is going to be green. All right. All right, so now... Remember we did it down here too. This is the this is oh I'm going on my tube. This is all the cover to the book. This is all the cover to the book. So just take your time and, and go on and do it. If you go to out of line, it's okay. Don't get upset about it. It's gonna be okay. Alright, so you can fix it. And, and because acrylic paint is very forgiving, you guys. Now, not even though know, this is the spine of the book, take you a little bit of this green, honey, and go on down there and try to indicate that it's wrapping around that green part. Okay, so go on and get it. Do it. Wrap around. Come on over here and get this thing going, y'all. Okay, and while you're painting, I want you to sit up straight. I want you to be smiling. I don't want no mean faces. Okay, just smile and have a good time. Because that's what it's all about. It's having, being a painter is fun. Okay, I've been doing it for a long time. And I'm not, ha I'm not had a time where I'm not having fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And I'm, I'm, I just like it. I love it. And I want you to experience what, I've, what I experience. Okay, so just go ahead and do it. Take your time. And when you're done... You could drop this in the water too. Don't rinse. Don't rinse. Just drop it in the water. The more brushes you have today, the more fun you're going to have. I'm telling you. Because you ain't got to keep rinsing out your brushes. But, put my paint away. But, the reason why I'm saying it is because we are going to explore all types of colors today. This is still wet. As you can see by my finger. So you can just lightly touch it. If you get paint on your finger, that means it's still wet. Let it dry. Uh, a method that some people use is that they go and they take a blow dryer and blow dry it. I don't like to heat my paint, especially, especially when I'm doing a commission piece. 
I want my paint to dry organically. I want it to, I want all the best things because when somebody pay for that art, they expect quality. They don't expect it to fall apart and start peeling. So I'm afraid of a hair dryer. I just leave that out of my segment, okay? Not knocking anybody that do that sort of thing. Do your thing. I'm just not going to teach that over here, okay? Let's get into the pages, y'all. I know y'all want to get into the pages. Now, I want to tell y'all something. Sometimes books have gilded edges where it be like gold all around the edges. I like that. I like that. But we don't have to do that today. We don't have to do that. We're going to do different colors, okay? But I want you to take your smallest detail brush. All right, this is when we're about to do some stuff. And remember we put this burnt umber up here? If you don't have any, go on and put some up there. You're finna need it, okay? You better need it, baby. All right, so you get your brush. Make sure you get your nice point. Now, my ass is crooked. I got to give me some new ones, y'all, but... And I will. I just... Uh, what up? I'm going to wear it down anyway. <laughs> okay, and I just... Just go and just keep the ones you got, honey. So I just put it in the water, and now I'm just going to make a nice little point on it, right? Because we want to start making pages to this book. Go on and put some on your brush... And come on, let's start with the easy part. Let's go down the middle. Put your, put your finger, this pinky finger, on your canvas, the dry part, not on the wet part. And take it and use it as a, a leverage. Leverage, okay, to draw your line so that you get a straight line. Okay, take your time. You ain't got to one stroke it like, Row. no, take your time and paint it in there. All right, go on and paint it in there. It's just the Creases of the pages, okay? That's all. That's all that is. Creases of the pages, baby. How everybody doing today? Y'all all right? Y'all still with me? Let me know in the chat. Yeah, let's go. Now, the Just Kidding side does not have a chat. YouTube does not allow the kids to have a chat, okay? It's not allowed. It's just what it is, okay? Don't don't blame um, anybody. You know, don't blame anybody. Just... That's to keep the kids safe. All right. So let's go down. But if you want to chat, y'all know what to do. Okay. All right. For kids, no chatting. You cannot come over. Stay over there. All right. All right. So now that I went down here, I'm just go down a little bit more and make me a nice little line. And now I'm going to take another brush, a clean brush, just like that. Just a clean little round brush. There's nothing fancy about it. And I'm just going to drag this down in between, I mean, straight down this line that I did. I'm just going to drag it down. And as you can see, it gets the line wider. It makes it wider, straight line, straight down, straight line, straight down. Okay? And I also want to just kind of drag your brush, because it's going to have some paint on it. Just drag it to the side like that. All right? Just drag it over your circle like that, just like that. All right, see where I'm going at? All right, so now, and then you can do it even up here. Just a little bit. We're just showing that these pages have a little shadow in between. And you can go back and forth with it a couple of times. Fan it out, fan it out. As far as you go upward with it, away from the line, it'll start fanning out and thinning out that color. And it's going to give it an appearance of a fade. Okay, that's going to be a fade. So get your fade in. And it don't matter how I look because this is going to be like an old book. Okay? Yeah. You're going to need this. Don't don't put it in the water. This is going to be your fade brush. Leave it on to the side. But just remember where it's at. Okay? So now we got these pages looking kind of old, right? So now, I think I want to do like... Okay, so my book is open. So I'm going to do... Like, I'm just going to bring this page up like this. And make it look curved and drag it on down like that. Yeah, and just kind of give it a little bit of something. Then you do one on this side. And you don't have to do them the same. They can be different, okay? So just uh, drag it like that. And this is just going to be like a little gap in the page just like that. All right. And then go to make another one. Go up higher, okay? And when you go up here to the top, you can put one up here. 
So, just dragging around like this. Shout out to everybody over here. Just kidding. You know, we just got 230 subscribers. And I am, I, I'm, sissy, I'm very happy about that. Good job, sissy. Yeah, no, you, good job. Yeah. Hi. Yes, sissy's been out just telling everybody about just kidding. So, listen, thank you so much. And to all of you guys that helped me promote this channel. And bring awareness that kids need art and they deserve art. I really appreciate you. Um, I really do. Thank you so much. All right. So now we just keep doing this, right? See how I just did that? It just it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't make it perfect. Don't make you're gonna stress yourself out trying to make it perfect. So don't even try it. Just like just don't. Okay. And don't go all the way to the you don't have to go to the edge. You could if you wanted to like make a page like in here. And make another page. Some of them be darker. Some of them be a little bit thicker. Make that a little thicker. And then come up here. We can make this one thick right here. They don't have to be the same, you guys. There's no rules to this, okay? Just take your time and drag it on out. And drag it out and lift your brush on off like that, okay? Let's do another one. Start in here. Make the curve. Drag it out. And let it go like that, okay? I right, need you can come back and fill these in a little more at the curve part. Just only at the curve part. Yeah, that's showing that you got some books, uh, some air between these pages, honey. You've been flipping these pages. Yeah. Yeah, like reading books, sissy? I do. Yeah, I have a lot of books. I used to have so many. Remember I did a yard sale? Yeah. Yeah, I had so many books out there. All right, so we got these books going, right? Um, this top page, I think I do want to go all the way to the edge. Let me take it all the way to the edge. I was just looking at it like, nah. Go to the edge. Take the top one to the edge. Yeah. All right. So now, excuse me. We're going to put some writing on the pages and all that stuff. But first, we want to color the pages. Your pages can be white if that's what you want. I believe that you should let your pages be colorful or, I don't know, whatever. You can do whatever you want, all right? But I'm going to use like an off-white. I got some white up here. I rinsed that brush, by the way. I did. All right, so I got some white up here, and I got some brown. I got me a new brush, too. I'm going to go ahead. Let me damp it. New brush. It's a filbert. And so now I'm going to grab some of this white. Mix it over here with this brown and give me like a light tan color, like an old book. This is old book. This old knowledge right here, baby. Okay. And you can just go ahead and just start doing it. Now, if you have some yellow, you can put a little yellow in here. And, you know, this is going to, we're starting to add color now. So, I'm just letting y'all know. Don't be surprised at what you see go down right here. Okay. Let's put a little bit of yellow up here. A little bit of yellow up here. Oh, this is the yellow that gave me trouble. I ain't been to the store, y'all. Yeah, I took some five five. I gotta go to the store. I'm finna dig down in here since it's over with anyway. Might as well get it. Rub it on up here. So I'm just getting a little yellow and put on my pages. Add some my white because that's too yellow. Okay? That's too dog. That was just too dog on yellow. I'm tripping, right? All right, so just go on and get it. When you get to your black part, that's when you want to make sure that edge is nice and crisp. Stand your brush up if you have to. Go around the edges and make that page nice and crisp. Now, you don't have to do the whole page, this yellowish color. You know, you don't. You can't. You don't have to. You can leave some of it. You can paint some of it white and just mix it up. Mix it up. Okay, you guys? Just mix it up. Stand, just the, the main thing is to cover it. You do not want any of your painting uncovered. You want it to have a covering so that it don't turn yellow by like sunshine or you know whatever might be going on on your stove in the kitchen when it's smoky in your house or something i don't know you don't want that to happen to your painting so just go ahead and paint that up if you make a mistake and put too dark just wait and let it dry then come behind it with a uh some lighter color the color that you choose right it's okay go on and do it all right so i'm just I'm just um, hitting and missing on this with the colors. I'm, take, I'm not really taking my time. I'm just kind of going a little wild with it. You know what I mean? Just doing a little weirdness with it. It's okay. 
Mm, I want it really white right here. I'm going to add more white in there than usual. A little bit more white up in here. A little bit more white on my edges. That's what I like. So that's what I'm doing, all right? And you don't have to paint in one direction. You can paint any direction you want, okay? And just as long as you get it done. All right, so I'm liking how this little brown kind of jumped in there and mixed in with this color. I think I like that, okay? All right, so now, these are our pages, you guys. So the side of your pages is usually probably be a little bit darker than the pages itself. So I'm going to add a little bit of this one paint that I couldn't really get to work out right. I'm just going to add this little, and I shouldn't have messed with it because it's already leaving trash on my, Lord have mercy, why did I do that? All right, anyway, let's go, y'all. We can work through it, we can work through it. I'm just using a darker, whatever you use on your pages, use darker. If you painted your pages purple, use a lavender on the, I mean, uh, no, I'm sorry. If you painted your pages lavender, use a dark purple on your side if that's what you choose to do. But whatever it is, make it darker, okay? Just a little bit darker. I'm going to add more burnt umber in here, and that's going to give me a darker side, just like that, okay? And I'm just going to paint that up on the sides, just like that, you guys. How we doing? All right? How I'm looking, sissy? Looking good? All right, let's go. And these are pages, so now... These are pages, so you strike downward, and you don't want to go side to side. You want to leave some stripes. Leave a little bit of white stripes in there, like so, because we want to see that these are pages. These are pages, you guys, so just stripe it very lightly. Take your brush and go very lightly and stripe it, okay? And the same thing here, go on and get it. You're going to start mixing in with those little... Um, the dark stuff that we did, the pages, the dark ones, try to go around them. That's why I was telling you it didn't matter because we're going to go back over it, okay? So just go in between them. Take it all the way to the edge, you guys. All the way to the edge. And you can give you some more white or whatever color it is you're using. All right. Get in between each one. Shout out to everybody that I haven't mentioned yet in the chat. I appreciate y'all. Hope my mods are greeting you guys accordingly. If not, then I'm greeting you right now. I appreciate y'all coming in. We're doing a book today, you guys. It's going to be a book of knowledge. Knowledge is key, baby. Okay? So you got knowledge, baby. You got some power. Okay? Let's go. All right. So now, got that done. All right? Just a little bit in here to blend it off, get it off my paintbrush. I'm a book looking. That's what I want to know. All right, so now we got that going. Let's test this. Woo hoo! Woo hoo hoo! It's ready. Yeah, I'm ready too. I'm ready. All right, so now we got this little book thing going on. I think it's awesome. You can make your pages deeper. I'm not. Okay, this is as far as I want to go with it. All right, so now I can just drop that off. I'll probably use that brush again, rinse it off or whatever. Have you? you know what I'm saying. You know what happened. All right, so now I'm ready to add some colors. What colors do I want? Now, when you start off with adding colors in, I want you, I'm going to wipe my brush off from that last little, from this page situation, to just wipe my brush off, okay? I'm not going to rinse it. I'm just going to wipe it off. I want you to pick your colors wisely. Whatever color you want, don't glop it on. I want you to get a little bit, and what we're going to do is like, we're going to do a, a smoky, glazing type situation. Okay, done. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so I got this yellow paint because it was up here drying out. So now I'm going to got some on my brush. Not a lot, just a little bit. And so I'm going to start like right up in here, right? But I'm going to put me a dot over there. I'm going to put me a dot over here. I'm going to put me a dot over here. Maybe a dot over here. And a dot over there. All right? A dot over here, too. Why not? Another one. All right. So now I'm going to spin my brush in a circle. Spin it like this. Keep spinning it. Spin it out into the universe, to the sky, until it starts going away. Right? Y'all see what I'm saying? But you got a starting point right here. 
That's where you started at. Let's take this and spin it all around. Make it all like a smoky little glaze, right? Come on, do this. Get them before they dry out, though, okay? Take it all the way down to your book. Get them before they dry out. Keep doing it. Do them all. All right? Yeah, there you go. Now, these are starting to dry out, but it's okay. Let's flip this brush over and just glaze it. All right, all right, cool. Rinse. We're going to rinse. Let's do some orange. I like orange. You like orange, sissy? I do like orange. Like, I got a little bit. Let me put it up here next to this yellow. Not too much, because we're going to have so many colors, you ain't going to need a lot of no colors. Boy, I got green on my fingers. I found that paint is splattered. Remember, I was like, oh, no. The paint went so but I don't know where it's at. It went right on this tube, Lord. Oh, got it. Okay, so now that I got some green on my hand, put this green on up there. Yeah, we finger paint around here, too. Let's go. All right, so now I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to, do the green the same way that I did that yellow. I'm just going to. And you can blend it off into the yellow and everything. Just make it a little smoky. A little smoky gray. Uh, misty gray. I mean green. Green, green. I said gray. And it's okay. All right. So now, now I'm, out, I'm out of paint. So let's go to the next color. Orange. Let's rinse. I'm glad I found that and it didn't get in my clothes. Oh, uh, y'all don't want to get kids, get paint in their clothes. Gonna grab you one of these boys. Yeah, gonna grab you one of these. Yeah, I got them. 755 Media All right, gmail.com. Let's go. All right, so let's get some orange. And I like it over here. So I'm just gonna mix it with the green and the yellow that's there. And I don't care. I'm just mixing it and I'm blending it and I'm doing my thing, right? Yeah, get some more. Put it over here. Yeah, let's get it in here. Concentrate. Concentrate, you guys. Gonna just swoosh it around in a circle. Circle, circle. Just like that. Circle, circle, circle. All right, until it's all gone. And you start blending in, you start seeing the darkness back here. All right, so I got a little bit more. So I'm come over here. Do a little bit like that. And I'm freestyling this, y'all. I'm not. Uh, that's why there's no reference photo, so, you know. If I make a mistake, I'll just be going back to fix it. We're gonna use every color in our in our in our uh in our toolbox. That's what we're gonna do. What's up to the next color? Ooh, lime green. I got some of this. Y'all got some of this? You ain't got none of this. You don't? Uh you might wanna not ask for that uh toy dinosaur this we can get you some paint, baby. All right, so let's go. That's a good intro to our new person. We got a new person? Donzel in the building. Donzel, I've been waiting for you. Come over and see me. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you. Thanks. Welcome to the Just Kidding Show. Where I teach your kids how to paint. Yeah, your kids. I ain't got none. Well, I got yours. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, so I get some light green, lime green. And I think I'm going to like it like right over here. And I'm just going to go on and I'm just kind of smoky, smoky it up like that. Like little spirals. Like so and so, and then that, and then I come over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of lime green right here. Oh, that's gonna be real pretty. Okay, once I start adding all this good stuff in, I'm over here. Don't forget, it's naked over here. We're gonna bring some over here and put some lime green in there, like so. That lime green is busting. Okay, yeah, let's get it. All right, so just come on around. I'm just going to spin it around. Spin your brush around, kids. Spin it around until it's all gone. And you just want to add a little bit more up in here. Like so. Just keep going. We want to add all the colors. All, any color that you want to add, that's what we're going to add, okay? That's what we're going to add. All right, so now, I think it's looking pretty good. I got some more of this paint on the brush. Waste not, won't not. If you got extra paint on your brush, go ahead and wipe it on your paint. You on your canvas like that and go on and just get it in okay yeah like so all right let's use another color Ooh, what about red it's kind of like this palette is sort of turning like an orangey green this color let's break it up with some red let's get it put it up here like so just a little bit remember we're gonna be using all these colors so you don't want to put a lot out because you don't want to waste no paint i'm not even gonna rinse i'm just gonna go ahead and grab this red 
and see what it get me on my brush. So let's go uh, right here. All right, so red. I mix the red and just go in a circle, make it looking like it's a universe type of galaxy situation. Okay, just keep doing it. All right, just go on and do it. Some up here too. Yeah, I like that. Let's go on and put it on out there. Really fade it up. Really fade it up at the top like that. Yeah, let's go. It's red. More red over here. Let's do it over this way. Yeah, the thing is like just do do something random. Don't just, you know, I got to make it like this on this side because I made it like that on this. No, you don't. Okay? Just, just make it one of the random moves. Get that exit paint off your brush. Turn it over and grab it out of there. Okay? It don't matter. It's just all good. This is just the first, this is the first go around, right? All right, so I'm happy with that red. Still got some up there. But I'm going to get this blue. It's a lighter blue. Y'all know this is my brilliant blue, baby. I just got to look into this up on the internet to buy me some of this. I think it was like $18. Like, oh, no. All right, so anyway, let's go. Blue. I know a lot of y'all like blue. Like my homegirl, Blue Lotus Vibes, is in the chat. She loving the blue. I know she do. Okay, let's go. A little bit more up here. And you don't want to go off to the side of the book. Kind of keep your colors up top of the book, Okay. So let's go. And we got that little yellow patch that I didn't do nothing with. We're going to cover that on up. Like so, I'm not happy with it. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Cover it up. If it's something that you wasn't happy with, go on and cover it up. Cover it up with the next color paint. You'll be all right. Okay, it'll just show up good. It's going to be okay. All right, so we still, we got a lot going. We got a lot to do on this. Fill it on in, y'all. Let's go. Get these colors. This colors is representing the the thoughts in your mind, you know, where you can go with this thing is, is unimaginable. You can just go all over the place, right? Do y'all need a break to stand up and stretch? Let's take one, okay? We've been in this thing. Let me see how long. Uh, oops. Uh, almost an hour. Yeah, let's go. And y'all, did y'all see my apron when I did like this? I don't know if y'all did. Anyway. You didn't say, I don't have kids. Me either. I'm serious. Let's, 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 listen. It's, it's, it's. Tino kids. All right, let's go. All right, so, appreciate everybody that's in here. I see y'all. Um, Tamika Davis is in the house. Hey, Nate the Great. What's going on, big guy? Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. PIA, what's going on, sweetie pie? I was just telling them that you created these um, hand towels for all the kids and how much we love them over here. Just kidding. Yes, thank you so much, Pastor and Tree Darts. Let's go, family. Uh-huh. Okay. Real is one is in the house. What's going on? You in here. Hey, best Judy. That's my best friend. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I see you over there throwing down, child. I'm about to get over there and, 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 and check you out and show some love. What up to Stay Stay? Stay Stay. Now, if you guys interested in, I just want to throw this out there real quick. Not for you kids, for the adults. If you guys is interested in a customized card, I mean, really, 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 really nice card. Mother's Day's coming up. Y'all go over there, check out Stay Stay's telling you she off the chain she off the chain yeah and they say 755 baby yeah let's go all right come on family all right so um this gift that i see you sis yeah come on now all right let's take a quick break and um while we do that i want you guys just to stretch out okay we're gonna come back and get the finale done to this beautiful book that we're about to do okay Commander in here? No, I didn't see Commander. What's up, fam? Thank you so much for coming in. Let's go check on Mimi, y'all. Yeah. We
we appreciate you. We appreciate your loyalty to the channel and just bring what you bring to the Just Kidding channel as well as the 755 Media channel. I appreciate you. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. You can't. Okay. Well, enjoy your Super Saturday. Thank you again. Appreciate y'all. All right. Let's go. Hope y'all stressed out. I went and bit me off on a piece of salmon patty. I was hungry. <laughs> okay. Um, seven five five, you know I'm a big kid. I ran out to kitchen to see this. Let's go. Yeah, let's get it. You had to hear that you had to go see Mimi. Yeah, she's a cutie pie, honey. Yeah, we had to check on her once in a while. Uh yeah, to make sure she's doing all right. That's passing the tree to our uh, granddaughter, baby. All right, so let's go. We back. Um, I'm just finding all the colors that I have not used yet. I've, I've got a teal up here. I've got a pink up here. Which I think I should go with next. I got purple. Did you say you were going to stretch or you were going to finish and then stretch? Oh, no. I was just telling them to stretch out and why we going to check on Mimi. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because we've been at this thing for an hour, honey. So, let's go. All right. So, let me feed out some of this pink up here. Oh, it's so pretty. It's very pretty. All right, so let's go. I don't know what I did with my brush that I was using. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to wipe it off. <laughs> I'm going to get this pink. And so some of these paints are drying, okay? Some of them are not, like the green is. It, it don't matter. Just mix them. Go on in there. Get a little pink. And you can layer them on. Make sure they layer on top of each other. They don't have to be, like, not touching. They want them to layer on top of each other, okay? Get a little bit over here. There it is. Just gonna do it. Just make sure you make the circles though. That's the best. That's gonna be the main part. Make sure you make some circles, okay? And then once you fade it off, you want to fade it away. Like, okay? You don't want it to just be a clump of this color. Like over here, this green. I need something to fade away on top of this. So let me add some more pink over here. It's okay. I know I got some here, but now I'm gonna fade that into the green and fade it all on off into the sky see all right so this is what i'm doing i don't know what you're doing but this is what i'm gonna do okay um i think that i need uh i used what else did i have i said i had another color uh, orange green oh the teal let's go yeah so i'm hoping that you guys are having a great week school will be out soon and what are y'all going to do for the summer? That's what I want to know. Uh, the kids always want to do something. And in good parenting, you guys, you got to give them something to do. So if you don't have anything planned, and particularly for your young one, I just used pink again. I made a mistake. But it's okay. I'm going to go on and blend it in. I'm not crying. I'm not stomping out the room. I'm not mad. I'm just going to put it on up there. Teal. All right, so I found another space. Put some teal in here, like so. And now, I'm going to tell y'all, another color to add in will be white. You want to get some white off in here, right? You just, you really, I just want to kind of get my whites down in here. It's like, going to give me some, like, a smoky, mystical type of situation. So add some white in here. I'm gonna add some up here, too, because I don't care. We're going to do what we're going to do. So, yeah, you, you got to, you got to. Have some type of activities for the kids to enjoy. Keep them busy and out your face, okay? <laughs> Keep them out your face. Yeah. So, I got a suggestion. Bring them over and let Just Kidding keep them for Saturday for a couple of hours. And I could teach them some why, why they out your face. Okay? I ain't going to do that. Let's do something like that, okay? So, y'all think about it. Get your kids involved, okay? Come on over here to Just Kidding. Baby, we got, we got, so I got some classes for the kids, okay? Some classes, all right? So sign on up. You ain't got to sign up. You just got to show up. Let's go. All right, so just put a little bit of this in here like so. Now I'm about tired of that. I don't had enough of this. This is going to filled up anyway, right? Let's start adding some color, color to the situation. Now, my book, I want a little color in my book too. So I'm going to just grab a little bit of this pink. Just kind of put a little pink in there. So 
little bit of late night crafting with Stacy color. Just a little bit of red in here. Like so. Yeah, a little green for sissy. I'll put that over here. Yeah, like so. Oh, it's muddied up because I didn't wash my brush out. You'll get that, you guys, if you don't rinse your brush. Your colors will be, will definitely get muddy. All right, so. But it's okay. It's an old book. And bring it on down and paint your edges with it. I think that's what I want to do. All right, a little bit of blue because you got to have some blue. All right, come on through with the blue. And I'm just, you know, making little, little colors on here on this thing, right? Now, you do want to add some words to your pages, right? You want to make it like it's got some words. Remember that incy dency tiny brush that we used earlier? I went and pulled it on out my water. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't have any black. I'm going to put some black up here. I'm all out. It looks like it's some, but it's nothing up there. It's just a color. All right, so now I'm going to take some on my tiniest brush, right? So I'm going to just get some script. So, like, I'm just going to write in here. da 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 Right? Boom. And come on back with it, like words, like this. And then I'm adding more. Da 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 Right? That didn't come out too good. Let's, I'm in the wrong color. Da da da. Alright, so then we're here. Da 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 da. And then leave a space because the words is not all the way through. Like that. Right? Now, so I'm going to say this too. This is what else I'm going to write. Like that. Right? And then over here, I'm going to say, and let late night crafting with Stacy. Boop, boop. That's it. And then it had on a red hat. Boom, like that. And then I'm going to come over here and be like, Pastor Lady and Trey Dyers was having a hula hoop wrapped around herself while she spent five, 15 minutes in the, like, in the backyard. Bam! All right. And I'm going to say. And then over here, I'm going to be like, the realest one always right going around here telling us all the news and information about everything you might see on the internet. Like, bam! Right? And then I'm going to say this. I'm going to write this line out. Anti-social. It's not really anti-social. She really socializes a lot. Don't let her name fool you. Bam! Like that. Okay? You see what I'm saying, sissy? Yeah. You see what I'm talking about with these people in here? And then this right here. Okay, so I'm going to write this in my book. This is all the stuff I'm writing in my book. And then I'm going to have Patty's Southern Kitchen and more. It keeps changing her name, so... I'll be forgetting about it. <laughs> I'll be forgetting what the, what the real name is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So then you got that. Okay. So then. And then. Okay. So then. And then you're going to write about this person right here. You're going to say. This is the person you're going to say right here. Nicole Reeves always coming up in here and talking smack in the chat. But we love her anyway. Like that. And then you're going to say. Uh, we'd like to welcome in Dolores. Dolores coming in and chat to show some love. Just kidding. I hope she hit the like button. Okay? <laughs> Who's going to say that? All right. So, yeah. It's so, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who else is here? Since you haven't got. Oh, yeah. Let's get to it. Okay. So, we're going to put this in here for Terrell. Terrell is in the building. Like that. Okay. So, here we go. Lena. Lena. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to. So if Lena, if you put an onion in the chat, Lena Doyle will respond back. Okay. Hey, let's see, let's see, let's see. Commander had to leave, but this commander. Commander. Commander had to leave, but she's still been a member for two months. We love her. Okay. All right, who else in here? Okay, Dazelle, do not have any kids, honey, and don't mind telling you that. Okay, what else? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Who else in the chat? Uh, uh, hey, <laughs> she says, I surprised Sissy with Tamika? this one. Yeah, Tamika Davis. Tamika Davis is in every live stream on YouTube from the beginning of time until the end, and we call her the GOAT. All right. All right, what else are going to put in our book? Um, did you do Nate already? Mm-mm. 
Nate the Great Podcast. What you doing, Nate, baby? Hey. All right. And then we got, who else we got? Um, I get a couple more people in here. Twinkles. Yeah. Twinkles in the background studying hard so she don't have to keep watching 755 every Saturday at 12 high noon. Okay, let's go. All right. All right. This is my new friend I met earlier. Queen. Queen. Yes. Okay, we like to welcome Queen to the chat. Queen, I'm glad you're here. We always acting crazy in the chat. You'll get to learn that. And the more you watch us, and thank you for tuning in, baby. Okay, so that. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Uh, all right, so we got enough. We got enough. We got enough. We got everybody listening. The book of the book of knowledge. We gonna let that dry. Okay, let's get back up here. <laughs> let's get okay, kids, y'all. Remember when we put all these colors up here? Some of them's dry, some of them's not. What I want you guys to do, and we're gonna paint our open book. What I want you to do is go back in here, find the colors that we use, just like this paint. Let's get the pink. All right, so it's gonna get the pink, and we're gonna draw. We're gonna paint. A bigger swirl a color and we're not gonna smoke it out we're gonna drag it out like it's coming out of this book and we're gonna make it big at the top like so you can make swirlies all over the place okay see how I did that don't be afraid it's okay it was easy y'all see me do it I can do it with my eyes closed watch this we're gonna take some pink we're gonna put it right here we're gonna swing it around like this look at my eyes is closed we're going to bring it down to a point like that. All right? Just like that, it's okay. That's fine. I'm going to do it again. Over here. Take the pink. We're going to put it up there. My eyes are closed. I'm going to even pat it around a little bit. And then we're just going to squiggly line and drag it down to the book. Y'all see what I just did right there? All right, let's go. All right, so now we got that going. You can do it as many times as you want or as big as you want. Like if I really wanted to make this even bigger, I could. I could. If you really like pink. Okay, I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller. It's all good. Let's go. Wipe your brush off, y'all. Just wipe it off. Let's get into the red. Find where you use the red at. You used it up here. All right, so we're going to put a glob of red up there. Get enough now so it can show up. We want to show up. We already got the smoky part in the back. Now we got to show it up. Then we just go squiggly line it. If you squiggly line it off into the pink, that's cool. Do it. Okay? Do what you feel. It's up to you. Now we got some red over here. We're going to do the same thing. Put Blop it on there. And then just take your brush and squiggly line it all around. Just drag it on down to the book. Because all of this is coming up out the book. Just the knowledge, right? All right. So welcome in, everybody. All right. Go, go over here. Pat, pat that red up in there like so. And just kind of pat it on down. You can do what you want. Just drag it down. Just make sure it comes downward. We don't want it to go upward. Just drag it down like so. Now we're going to get all this red up off of here. Off of my palette, okay. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna go on and get rid of it because I'm done with it for the day. We're about to close this thing out, okay. So let me put some more over here and yeah, just go on and drag it on down like so. Boop, boop, boop. This thing is exploding with paint. All right, so once you get all the paint off your brush and got it where you want it to paint, where you want the paint to be, you can just ask. You can dab it other places in here. That's what you want. Wipe your brush off, y'all. All right, so wipe your brush off. Let's get back into this green. We got the line green. I'm going to get it. We had it over here. Let's goop it on, y'all. Goop that thing up there. Try not to cover up that paint because that, that pink was looking hot. So we're just going to try to go over there with it. Boom, boom, boom. Pat your brush. Pat it, pat it, pat it, y'all. Y'all got this, okay? All right, so let's go. Get some more. Come on over here. You had it over here, too. All right, so go on and get it. You can kind of drag it on down and tap your book with it. Tap your book with that green and get some of that green down in there, okay? All right? All right, so boom. Wipe your brush. Get the teal. There's some teal was up here. Get it? Put it up there. Yup, let it go. Just drag it on down. Just put it on down all the way. Over here. It was over here. Oh, no, that was that other blue. I don't care. Let's go. Okay? It's no mistake in this. It's only happy, happy ending, so let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. And drag it on down. Put it on over that orange. It's okay. And then just kind of give it a little sparks. You can put little sparks around here like so. And that's going to make it look, give it a little bit more interest. You all right. Just going to do it. Some more teal up in here. 
Dragging them down over that white like so. Y'all doing amazing, kids. Your kids are doing amazing. And um, when you're done with your art this week, y'all know what y'all have to do, right? You got to show me that art. Maybe you're going to send it to me at 755mediaart at gmail.com. I want to see your art. I want to post it. I want to show the world what you're doing. All right, so I got this purple, right? This purple is so dark that I got to mix it with this white in order for you to see it, okay? So let's mix this purple and white together. Boom. And get like this little really cute purple. Um, I'm going to put it right here and just let it spark off over there. Maybe add some over here. Uh, Y'all know I love color. So let's go. Help, thank you for everybody that's still watching and hanging in here with us. Don't forget to hit, not to hit the like button. We need that. We need that. Um, we showing love for the children. So y'all go ahead and do it. Adults, y'all can catch me probably later on. I might do a segment for the, on the adult side of uh, my, my channel. I appreciate y'all coming through. Let's go. Uh, all right, it's a little bit purple in there. I'm going to add a little purple in this book, too. I'm just going to lightly brush it, add a little purple in there. I like color. I love color. Let's go. I want color to be dripping everywhere. Let's get it. All right, so we got a little purple going on now. I'm just kind of sweep my brush around. And you can do it, too. Just sweep your brush and get them colors off. Okay, just go on and get them off. Oops, I made a mistake. That's all right. It'll be all right. We love it. We love it over here. All right, what y'all thinking so far? Sissy, what you think? You love it? I love the idea. It is so good. All right, let's go. All right, so we got all these paints up here. We got some blue we need to use. Let's get this blue, dab it on thick. Because we did the lighter part of it when we did the background part. So now we want to give it a darker color. So get that blue off in there. I could probably put some down here in this book too. Some kind of way. Just wipe it down there and pat. Pat you guys, pat it wherever you want that looks blank or you don't have that blue. All right. Rinse. And I don't know why. I just rinse it because I want to. So red, pink. What color? other colors I can get off in here? Oh, yellow. Yeah, y'all know my yellow is acting out. Y'all can cash at me so I can go get me some paint. Okay, for the kids. All right, adults. It's okay. All right, so I'm going to get some yellow. We're going to throw it some right here. We're going to throw some right here. We need a little bit over there to break that up. Plus, I want to run it into that. I hate that because this yellow was going to make my make my situation popping. But it's okay. We just want to add a little bit more yellow. Drag it on down into this book because we need this book to be smoking with knowledge. Okay? We want this book to be smoking. Now, all the words that I wrote in about all of y'all in the chat is dry. I'm going to start patting paint on top of y'all. All right? Don't duck. Don't duck. You're going to get it. You're going to get it regardless. So we're just going to add some paint in here. Draw some uh, draw some uh, uh, awareness to this paint. And I want that's drying. And I put this away because this. It's a really annoying, ain't nothing in there. I have a question that I'd like to ask in chat. I'm hoping that somebody can answer it. I really need to know. Knowledge is power, don't you agree? So, sis, I'm going to start with you, ma'am. Because you got to call this and stuff, right? So, I'm going to start with you. I want to know, where do books where do books sleep? Yeah, let's ask her that. Where do books sleep? Yeah, where do books sleep? In the bin? In the bin? In the bin. No, girl, they sleep in between the covers. <gasps> <laughs> you get it? Yeah, what? I like yeah, it. Yeah, they sleep in the covers, sissy. Yeah. I can't believe she didn't know that. She got a whole college degree. She didn't know that, you guys. Know, right? it's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. Amazing. It's amazing. All right. All right. Uh, so I got enough. I got enough. This for you, chat. Chat. 
Come on, y'all smart. Y'all lit lit. Y'all lit lit fam. Let's go. Got a, I got a question. Um, what books, since we're doing a galaxy kind of sort of situation, what books do planets read? The planets. What do they read? They read books. I know they do. I'm telling y'all. They do. They read books. And I think that's enough. I mean, I mean, it's you can overdo it. You can do whatever you want. But I like this a lot. I mean, it's simple. Anybody can do it. All you just need to do is pack the colors on there. And, and and you can come up with this. And you don't have to bloom it out so far. You know what I mean? Like, you can, you don't have to take it as far as I did. But the thing about it is, the, the main thing is, Getting it, getting this display the colors. Display your colors, and and have fun doing it. You know what I'm saying? And and don't be afraid to move your brush around and add different strokes to just just do whatever you want. I'm telling you, it's gonna be okay. Um, so the the question was, since I don't know if they're answering it, are they answering the question or no? no. They're thinking, y'all thinking too long. Do, 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 do. Wait a minute. You know that sound where you like ripped it off? Oh, yeah, like. Yeah. All right. What books do planets read? What books do planets read? They read comics. Comics. No, oh, thank you, sissy. Thank you, sissy. I know it's good when they try to act like it ain't when it is. Y'all think it wasn't when it was. Y'all started shitting when I should. Okay, let's go. Y'all, powerful book. This book has got all type of knowledge in there. I'm telling you. It's got a representation of all type of people, things, colors, shapes, sizes. All right, I got one more. This one for Rudy. Uh -huh. Queen said that was a good one. Thank you, Queen. Okay. Um, what would you call a book in a bind? I messed the joke up. Never mind. It, I should have said, what do you call a book in trouble? They in a bind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Anyway. Anyway, y'all. Enough of the shenanigans. Um. Let's sign this thing, y'all. We can get up out of here. Um, and I can get y'all on y'all way. I'm going to put my paint. I took my top off my black and put it on there. All right. I'm going to send y'all on y'all way with a bunch of love. I got a special announcement to make, so don't leave yet, please. And I think I'm going to sign this one. I'm going to sign it with some white paint right here. Yeah, aren't you something about that? But well, let me dampen my brush just a little bit to get the paint fluid, okay? Just a little bit. Shout out to everybody that came in this afternoon. Yeah, hold on. Let's put this together here. Wait a minute. I can't sign this without no music. What, what type of show is this? What type of show is this? I see you, Dolores. I see you. I see you, Nicole, Patty. I see y'all in the chat. Cesare, my sis. Love you, girl. Love you. Come on, Terrell. Let's go. Terrell, you had a great show last night. A lot of great music in that show last night, honey. Yes, ma'am. You did that. Okay. You did that. Let's see about this. Paint and Panda. 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 Hey. Paint and Panda's on the canvas. Greatest art on this planet. Yep. I can teach you if you let me. Bring the kids and let's go. Just kidding, art channel on YouTube. 12 high noon. Yeah, every Saturday. Y'all don't forget that part. That's the important part, okay? Let's go. Alright, so I'm playing the slow groove because I wanted to slow groove and just mellow out. Yeah, a little something, something. I put sign my name on this masterpiece. Okay. Another one down, y'all. This is uh what number 87, sissy? Yes. 
Yeah, it should be scrolling across the bottom of the screen. I think it's number 87. So, y'all, come on now. That means if you've been painting with me since day one, you got 87 paintings in your house. And that means you got an art gallery, baby. Let's go. All right, so shout out to my sissy, moderators, uh, my huns in the chat. And, but most, most of all, shout out to the kids. Shout out to all the kids that painted with me today. I know, I know I'm a handful. All right, sissy said, give it up for yourself, child. Let's go. Woo! All right, sissy used to say that all the time. Yeah. And so, yeah, so auntie... Auntie 755, teaching young people to paint something sweet on the easel. All right. So sign your name. Normally you will sign it in the right hand, bottom side. But you can sign it wherever you want. Like I did, okay? I think it's beautiful. Screenshot. Thank you. Thank you for painting with me. Yeah. So look, we now come to a segment where I like to say, show me your art. Okay? So if you got art and you want to show it to me, y'all know what to do. I keep saying it over and over again because I want y'all to understand that this is what this is your place. This is your safe place for art. Nobody's going to laugh. Nobody's going to joke at you. Nobody's going to ridicule or any of those things. We only encourage one another. We uplift one another, okay? So, you know, don't be afraid to show me your art. You'll be surprised at how many people's going to love it. So let's go. Show it to me. No, really, show it to me. Show me your art. 755 Media is out here with a custom portrait. If you would like a custom portrait, email us today at 755 mediaart at gmail.com. Look at these people. Do you know these people? If not, you need to check us out on YouTube at 755 Media. And if you or your children would like to learn how to paint, check us out on YouTube at Just Kidding every Saturday at noon. We did another one. Another one. Y'all, we had fun. I had a great time painting this. It was so easy. Easy, like measy, peasy, mac and cheesy, okay? So this is a special thing I wanted to show y'all and share with y'all before I leave because I won't be able to show it to you anymore after today. So um, my great niece, yeah, she's here. And she's not here, but she's here. And she's got her own little room now. Brand new room at one years old. She's got her own room, sissy. Can you believe it? Yeah, whoop, Good job, whoop. Parents. Good job. Yeah, parents did a great job with that. So they just moved. So I'm going to send her a door scots. Okay, this is a... Can y'all see it? So this is made from tool. Just got to fluff it up a little bit. I didn't want to fluff it up too much because it's got to travel. So I'm just fluff this thing up, honey, and just hang it right on the door. And there you go. It's a mermaid tail. I made it out of, um, it's, out, it's made out of wood. And then I put some stones all over it. And I just, I had so much fun with the gradients of the stones and making sure. And it's so much fun, you guys. I just love it. You parents, you can order one for your children if you like. You know, how to, you know what to do. But I just wanted to show y'all the mermaid tail is leaving. And um, I'm sure she's going to have a really, really... She's only one. So at one years old, their eyes are developing. So y'all can just see her eyes going to be like, what in the heck is happening over here on this door? <laughs> okay, but it's her door. It's got a brand new... Congratulations, sweetie pie. 
I'm not gonna say her name, but congratulations, holler. They ain't baby booty stones, but if they was, oh my goodness. All right, so um, I guess I'll be doing a dinosaur next, you guys. Dinosaur, we still got a guitar to do, so it's a few things left. Uh, I think I want to do the guitar first. I mean the dinosaur first, then the guitar. So look out for that. If you're interested in getting the reference photos now, you can hit me up. It's in the chat right here. It's saying you couldn't get one. I don't want you to get one for this because we didn't need it. It was so easy. Wasn't it easy, sissy? And so you didn't need one for that. So there was no reference photo. But for the guitar, you're going to need one. For the dinosaur, you're going to need one. So make sure y'all get into that. Y'all, um, uh, girl, my back is kind of tight, sissy. I promise you it is. So I want to stress just a little bit. Let's go. All right. Yeah. I can't hear it. Can you hear it, sissy? Can you guys hear the music? Turn it up just a little bit. Yeah, let's turn it up. I can't hear it. All right. Put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. No, let's stop. Just stretch out, you guys. You can clap your hands together and just put them straight up over your head. Now, if it hurts, don't do it. Don't hurt yourself, okay? Just take your time. Clap your hands together and go over your head and just pull and stretch, okay? And you can put it back towards your chest like this. You should feel that in the middle of your part of your back when you put it back down like this, right? Then take your arms and put them out like this. I can't go that far because... I might knock over my paint, but put yourself into a position where you're like a bird and kind of just glide around and you can tilt your head side to side and you can feel it in here because you've been sitting over an hour painting and you can just kind of swirl your arms around in a big old circle and just glide like a bird. Yeah, that's what you can do. And you know what else you can do? Give yourself a hug. Come on, let's go. Give yourself a hug. <clears throat> a bigger hug than that. That was a weak hug. We don't like weak hugs over here. Let's go. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, hugs to you as well from me. All right. Uh, appreciate y'all coming in this afternoon. Make sure y'all do, you know, listen, clean up after yourselves. And, and when you come to my art studio, and the way you can clean up after yourself is hitting that thumbs up button over there to just kidding. It's linked in the top right there. That's just for the kids because the kids love thumbs ups, okay? They're going to think I'm whack if you don't go ahead and hit that. Okay, let's go, sissy. Yeah, they're going to think I'm whack if you don't hit that. So hit it, and I'll see y'all later on. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all the new people that came over this afternoon. And everybody who put up with my shenanigans. Y'all know what I'm saying. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to have a new video soon for the kids. I'm just behind. No excuse, but that's really what's going on. So I ain't going to lie about it. But y'all watch the old video on the way out. Peace and love. And uh, it's something else I forgot to tell them, sissy. Hmm, what they say? Terrell said something. See, Terrell sent a donation. Holy smoke moly. Let me see. I don't see it. Oh, wait. I can't see it. I don't see it. Uh, Terrell. There it go. Let's go. Y'all know what to do. I see you want me to act out before I leave. Okay, that's fine. You want me to act out? Turn on, I'm finna turn it all the way up, y'all. Make sure y'all turn your headphones all the way up because I want to hurt y'all ears. We, we got some love coming in to the chat for Terrell, the musical genius over there. Let's go. Hold on, let me turn this thing all the way up. Let's party. Y'all ready? Yep. Oh, the super chat here. And now yeah. we lit lit. Somebody. Make it rain. Come on, somebody. Somebody made it rain. Somebody did they thing. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yep. thank you, yep. thank you, yep. thank you, yep. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We lit, lit. Yeah, we lit, 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 lit. Thank you, Terrell. Appreciate that. All donations that sent to my super chat, cash out, or whatever. During my time that I'm on live for the Just Kid. Go directly to the kids. I mean, I go shopping. Yeah, for them. And then I send out free gift boxes. Yeah, for them. 
You know what I'm saying? So keep coming, y'all. I appreciate it. The more you do, the more I can do, and the more the kids can do more than that. So um, I appreciate y'all. Terrell, many blessings to you and your channel, baby. I, I love you for that. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be seeing y'all again soon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close out. I can't remember, though. It was um, before I leave. Damn, it was something else I wanted to say. Dang on it. Oh, I remember. Yeah. You deserve art. That's right. You do on some 5-5 five, five media, baby. And I'll see y'all next Saturday, kids. So get ready. Oh, no. Who just did it? That's why y'all making me sick. Y'all been making me sick. Oh no, hold on, y'all. I don't know how to say that person's name. Uh, well, wait, wait a minute. All right, Lena Door Crafting is showing out. Oh, let's get it. Oh, uh, she's she tried to hit me on the way out the door, y'all. That's all right, though. We we got mad love. Sissy, pull up Lena Door for me in the chat, okay? Uh, let's get it. Yeah. And now yeah. we lit lit. Somebody made it rain. Come through, fam. Somebody went insane. Come through, fam. Somebody made it rain. Somebody did their thing. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We lit lit. We lit lit, baby. Thank you for the super chat, Lena. Come on, now. We got some paint coming in the dough. I'm about to go to the stove. All right, y'all. Somebody came in on the way out. Oh, D's. That's Deesville. Oh, Deesville. Dees. What's up, Dees? We just got lit lit. Look what we made for the kids. Bring your kids, man. Nephews, nieces, little uncles. We don't care. We don't care how old they is. Just bring them in here. So we made the book of knowledge, man, for the kids. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we about to be out of here, so go ahead and watch the replay. Don't forget in the chat, hit that thumbs up and over there for the kid channel called Just Kidding. D you see it right here. Uh, don't be fooled by imitators and duplicators. 755 Media. Yeah, just kidding. So go over there and check out the kids. Thank you, Commander. Appreciate you. You said let the coins fly. Okay, I did. I did that. Yeah, let's go. All right, y'all. Y'all peace and uh and, and must respect. I thank y'all so much again. I'll see y'all next Saturday. Bye, kids. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'll see seven, five, five. Uh -huh. The wait is wait, over. Wait, Let's go. Wait. Just kidding. Are you ready? Wait. The Just Let's Kidding go. Kids are the best kids, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Are you ready? Yes, I know. Uh -huh. I'm ready. It's Let's go, y'all. Hey. 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 Mama, mama, how long should I wait? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Well, high noon on Saturday. Wait, wait, wait. Other kids are outside and they're playing. I set my easel up and then I say, Just Kidding. Papa, Papa.
and the play, yeah. I whip my paintbrush out and then I say, just kidding.